Hello, my name's David, and in this video, we're going to have a bit of fun. We're going to put an image inside text. Right, let's make a start. We're going to head over to the toolbox and we're going to pick up the artistic text tool. So make sure you select the top one. Bring your cursor onto the image, click down. Now, I'm going to pull it out. The font size we're using to start off is 241.6, but that doesn't matter. You can have whatever size you want. Type in your title. I'm going to do this all in uppercase, and it's the fabulous country of Iceland. Right, leaving it with the text tool flashing at the end, because what I want to do next is I want to change the font of this. I want to make it bigger and bolder. So with the text tool flashing at the end, you can use Command A, Control A to select all of your text. Now you can head up and you can go to the font family. With this revealed, as soon as you bring your cursor over, you can see the way it changes. Now select a font that will suit the purpose that you're after. So if you're after birthday, you want something a little bit sort of fancier. If you want happy Christmas, happy holidays, whatever you want. Just select a font that will suit the purpose that you're after. Now, there's a particular font I've got in mind. I want something big and bold, and probably the best one for that is Impact. So I've highlighted Arial at the top. I'm going to type in the first few letters, which is I am. There it is, straight to it, Impact. How quick and easy was that? Right, now to resize this to make it bigger, let's pick up the Move tool. I'm going to click down, let's lift it up, let's place it in this position. Come into the bottom grab handle, we're going to pull it out like this. I'm going to click, drag it down like that, and just clicking on the center. As we move it around, that red line indicates that we're on the horizontal center. And if I move it, the green line there, which is now the vertical, so we're right smack bang in the middle of our image. OK, the next thing we want to do at this stage is I want to create the shadow for our text. So come over to the Layers panel, bring your cursor over the letter A, press, hold down, Command or Control. So press, hold down, Command or Control. Now click down over the letter A. There is our selection of all of our text. Head down to this icon here for Add Pixel Layer. In fact, just click on it, call it what it's about to become, which is our shadow. Right, make sure you've got the default colors, any other color. Press D on the keyboard to restore those default colors. That is important. Now heading over to the edit menu, we're going to go down to fill with secondary color. Secondary color is black. That has filled it with black, as you can see from the thumbnail. So we can use Command D, Control D, knowing that our shadow is safe. We're going to switch it off. Let's go down to our image layer. I'm now going to use Command J, Control J to duplicate that. We're not going to leave it there. We're going to lift it up. We're going to put it on top of our text to start off. Clicking on it again. Before we do that, let's just switch this off so we can see the effect. Clicking on it again, dragging it down. Now we've got that solid blue line. Do not release your pen, your mouse, whatever you are using. Leave it with a solid blue line. Now pull it across to the right hand side. So don't release your pen, your mouse. That is important until you see that gap appear. Now you can release it. Right, let's come up to our shadow layer. Let's switch this on, dragging this down, making sure you go below. Now you want to pull it across to the left hand side because you want that solid line going right the way across. We can now switch on the background layer and you can see the faint outline of our shadow. We're going to go down to Live Filters and we're going to head up to Gaussian Blur. Lifting this up, we're going to take our Gaussian Blur up like this. That looks pretty good. Let's leave it like that. Let's head down to our Image Layer. Once again, let's go to Live Filters. Once again, let's go to Gaussian Blur. Just lifting it up again, taking it up. And as you take it up, you will notice this light line going right the way around. You need to make sure you tick Preserve Alpha. That line has disappeared. That looks pretty good like that. So let's switch this off. OK, for the next stage, what we're going to do is we're going to give this text just a little bit more of a, a shape to it. So let's come up to our text layer, head down to the FX, our layer effects, and we're going to go to 3D. And I'm just going to take this up 
Also, you can change the direction of the light and you can see this light area here and here shadow area down the side there. You can change it by the direction here, but uh, the way it's looking with the image, that works pretty well. Now, of course, you could have used the outer shadow, but I find it rather restrictive, which is why we created our own. And if I just come to it, so clicking on it, we've still got the move tool. You can click down. You can now place it anywhere. So you could take it down as low as this. You could come up to the opacity slider, just dropping down the opacity to blend it in. Something like that looks pretty good. You can just lift it up a little bit more if you want to moving it across there. It, I, I want the text to look as if it's floating. No, I said floating. Thank you, that'll do. Let's leave it where it is. Right, a few other tricks we can do is with the move tool, you can move this round the text into any position should you want to. I'm gonna make sure I go back to where I started. You can also click on the image which is inside our text. This is now highlighted. Notice the move tool going around and you can reposition this as well. So if there's some little parts of that image you want to bring out, you can just reposition it. Or with this particular one, I'm going to go back, just making sure that uh, move tool is right the way around the outside. And there it is. So go on, give it a try. You can use this for a whole range of different purposes. You could use it for happy birthday, happy Christmas, happy holidays, whatever you want. So go on, give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have, and don't forget to subscribe. Plenty more videos to come. Click that little bell icon. You'll receive a notification every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.